Well, here we are again. Let's open up my fourth Yestin card. Well, let's begin. All right, well, here we are again with another Yestin 79, well, Yestin AMD graphics card. Their packaging has always been interesting, to be, you know, to be fair. It's, I didn't like all of their cards. I had problems with some of their other cards, namely the, the Six Path one, I believe it's called. Pretty bad temps on that one, so... Hopefully, the Sakura uh, Sweet Sugar, I believe is the name, makes up for that. So yeah, packaging on this is pretty nice. We've got the name there. You got their poster girl. On the side, there's a cute ribbon here. So yeah, let's open it up. A little shipping damage here. Thanks, Newegg. So Newegg is not directly selling this. This is actually uh, my first time buying third-party seller. This is actually being sold by the manufacturer in Newegg. Yeah, this is sold by Yestin directly. So, take this out. It's the packaging is wide actually compared to the previous um, the other packaging. It's wider, definitely. So, right, there it is. How do I open this up? Okay, so it opens on the side here. Okay, so it's sealed. That's good. Let's open up the seal. Underneath here. So you have to undo the ribbons on the side. So you just pull that. And All right, wow. There you go. All right, you got your card here. It's actually pretty heavy. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there you go. Ooh, what the heck? There's a manhwa included. Oh, that's interesting. That's super interesting. It's like, a, yeah, there's a Chinese manhwa included. So that's pretty cool. I like that. That's uh, that's great. That's legitimately pretty good. All right, so there's not much in here in terms of like accessories other than this and a warranty card. So yeah, let's check out the design of this. All right, so you know what? I'll give him props for this. Uh, it's easy to tear to open the anti-static bag, so that's cool. And voila. Oh, well, I'll take that back. It's, it, it's sealed pretty tight, so not easy. It's easy to open, but like it's hard to take out the, the actual card. All right, there it is. Zoom in a bit. So now you'll see it's pretty flashy, to be honest with you. 
I, uh, yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. This looks like the the outer. I, I think I remember this from my my brother had some kind of um, something like this. Got the right one, yeah, XTX. So yeah, um, this one is weird. It only has two pins. So yeah, I'll check that out. Um, yeah, this uh, I don't know how to feel about this material. This one feels like a. Those plastic things. Uh, I, I need to look up the name. I'll, I'll post the name in, in here on the video somewhere. But yeah, it, it looks weird. I wasn't expecting this. Uh, I mean, it's kind of saw it, but now that it's up close, it looks super odd and super... <laughs> I hate to say it, but it looks super cheap. Like, this, this kind of text, or I don't know, the, the pattern on the shroud itself looks super cheap when it comes to this one. So I, I don't know how to feel. Um, the back, if you notice, this one is transparent, so you won't no you won't spot the waifu. Unlike the previous waifu cards, you'll see like the waifu right there, front and center. You can see it. Uh, this one looks pretty decent. It's actually a pretty good departure from their normal like having the actual mascot the girl mascot on the back on the back plate. So yeah, you know what? Let's plug it in and see how it runs. Here's the quick specs for my test bench. Once the card is powered on and the fan starts spinning, you do get a large whiff of the perfume smell that's honestly too strong for my taste. Admittedly, while I may not personally like the design of the shroud, I will say that it's a pretty unique design compared to its more mainstream counterparts. The backplate of the Sakura card does not overtly display their poster girl's image unlike the previous card. Rather, it's mostly visible when the RGB is turned on. Otherwise, her image is barely visible. Another thing I did notice is that the card actually has a pretty bad coil wine. Here, take a listen. Finally, I do appreciate having physical switches for both BIOS and RGB on the card. Before anyone asks why I don't test the general performance of the GPU, is that at this point it's pretty moot seeing that the performance of the RX 7900 XTX is mostly known and comprehensively covered by larger outlets. And usually, there are only small performance difference between each variation of the 7900XTX. What I do like to test is how smaller AIBs implement their thermal solutions to these cards. And sadly, I would say that this is where Yestin's new Sakura card fumbles. I'll compare the thermals between this card and the Gigabyte Aero 4090, which is a card that sucks up way more power than a 7900XTX. Notice that the 4090's max hotspot did not go over 75 degrees in a closed case. While the 7900XTX reached the max hotspot, of 93 degrees in an open bench. In the four Yesten cards I tested, this is only the second worst performer when it comes to thermals. I'd say the crown for worst performing card, thermally anyway, is still the 6th path GPU where the 3060's hotspot was way worse than a 6800's hotspot.
In conclusion, while I'm not completely sold on the design of the card, I do appreciate Yestin for bringing variants to the gamer's aesthetic look that most mainstream GPUs go for. I would hope that their next Sakura card variant would have both a unique design and better thermal performance. Alright, that wraps it up for this video. If you have any questions about this card or this product, leave it in the comments down below. I'll try to answer it as best as I can. For now, see ya!